I'm gonna jump in here because I've actually been a, a little through that. Um, um, this past year, I moved to LA, but uh, I've, I've I've realized that it's 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 you just have to be very bold about you know what you want to do. You know, you cannot really uh, allow yourself to you know kind of like you know create this uh, uh, fancy plan of how you will get there. It's it's. It's just simply knocking on doors, you know, being ready, you know, be prepared to be rejected a thousand times, uh, uh, asking the right questions as well, you know, not just ask for a job, you know, perhaps uh, um, I've been very lucky to run into many people, uh, uh, very interesting individuals from the industry where, you know, I, sometimes I start asking for advice and then they end up, you know, oh, you know, I'll, I'll recommend you, you know, there's an opening for this position here or something like that. So you never really know where your next opportunity is going to come from. So. Um, for the studio thing, and and if you want to be on set, something that says, "Where you know, the, the, you guys will probably uh, agree with me on this," I, I or you know, <laughs> say something more uh, more uh, uh, important than that. But um, something that worked for me very well was that I was able to get a lot of numbers for all these production companies. You know, so I, I will be tracking down perhaps when I need to be all these projects, uh, uh, you know, that were incredibly in pre-production or something. And I would just call them just like that, you know, asking, hey, are you guys looking for PAs, and stuff, you know, people to support the production in any, any uh, shape or form? And, and yeah, something, surprisingly, they, you know, I was able to be on set a couple of days and then some other times, obviously, I wasn't. So. Um, you just have to knock on doors, I guess. It's a, yeah, you gotta be you gotta be creative. Yeah. And figure out how you you get there. Um, I know uh, for you know just from personal experience, when I first went out to Los Angeles, uh, me and uh, me and my friend Will Clevenger, we would actually go to bars next to studios because we assumed that when the studios when they were done shooting, they would filter into these bars, and that's who we would meet the people we would need to meet to get our movie seen or help us get our movie sold, and it. It was, uh, and so uh, it's just being creative with it. It's not necessarily having to send applications everywhere, or, or you know, physically go to these studios as much as it is, uh, lo you know, looking online and who's the assistant, you know, and 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 then all of a sudden you know their Facebook, and then all of a sudden you're talking to them on Facebook, and you know maybe that's creepy, I don't know, but it's something, you know what I mean? Like that, it, but it's but it, you know, it, there's creative ways to do it nowadays because at this because everything's connected social media wise that you can you can find a way to do it, and then you don't need to. Be be talking to the boss, you would be talking to the assistant who is going to get you maybe an assistant job where it starts. And so to me, that is, is what it's really about, is just trying to be as creative as possible and not think of just the, the norm or just what you think you know and how to get out there, but really you know, open up the spectrum of what you could do to try to figure out how do you get in there. Um, so yeah. Um, you know, has anybody ever got a job from submitting resumes to a studio? Sure. That's, but that's one iron in the fire. So if you think you're just gonna hit send and send the resumes out to the studios and then kick back and wait for the phone to ring, you know, that is not a good plan. So that's one iron in the fire. So then you talk to everyone in your family. Do you guys know anybody that does anything? Oh yeah, well my uh, cousin's veterinarian sister is uh, a casting assistant for kids on this TV show. So that's an iron in the fire. Contact that person. Mm. Let's have coffee. Let's talk. Maybe they can do something for you. Maybe they can do nothing for you. At least they know you. And then, uh, you know, you, but yeah, you have to be creative. You have to make these opportunities. The jobs that you guys are looking for, it's not like, you know, getting a job at Target or, you know, it, it's extremely competitive. <laughs> you guys have your work cut out for you when you get out of here. <laughs> my first job was my stepsister's former roommate's ex-boyfriend's former roommate that got me a job as an office PA on a movie. I didn't want to be an office PA necessarily, but you know, when I moved to LA, it felt like the entertainment industry was like a big giant fortress, and there was a million people running around outside like looking for a way in. So you have to create an opportunity for a door to crack open, and it might not be the door that you think you want, but whatever it is, you dive in, and you stick your foot in that door, and whatever you're doing, you do it the, you know, the best you can, even if it's not the thing that you want. You know, um, you know it's kind of like, you know, being the drummer in the band, you know, you, so you're not the lead singer and you're not writing the songs and maybe you don't even like the music, but you're the drummer, your job is to play the drums. So you back there, you pound those things the best that you can and someone's going to notice that. And then next time you'll, you get to be the drummer in a, in a better band with better music. But no matter what, you don't ever want somebody to look at you and say, wow, that drummer is lazy and they're just phoning it in. So, you know, whatever opportunity presents itself, you have to be ready for it and you have to make it happen. And so you want to have like 20 irons in the fire and maybe one of those will come through and maybe not, maybe you need more, but you, you know, you have your work cut out for you and, you know, uh, you know, show up at the, at a set, 
there's people that get jobs that way. They just show up on set and start helping out, you know? Um, Darren Bowsman uh, sent, you know, wanted to work for one specific production company, and so he sent a refrigerator box completely full of styrofoam peanuts to this guy's <laughs> office and with a resume in it. And so the guy opens the thing and all these peanuts fly all over mm-hmm. the, uh, the office and he pulls out the resume and calls Darren to yell at him for doing that. <laughs> but he, had, he, he was bold and found a way to pry open a door. But you got, it's, it's, uh, it takes a lot of work, so you guys gotta start thinking about that now. It, you know, I don't care if it's your first month here, you better be anxious about who am I gonna call when I graduate. Don't wait. And career development, that's an iron in the fire. Awesome. They can help you, but they're giving the same information to a lot of different people. So I think the coolest thing is you come to career development and say, hey, I found these opportunities. So you flip it on them. I found these opportunities for you because I'm pounding the pavement. But you, but you got to be really cerebral about it and really think about what you're going to do.